Welcome back to Classless Chaps. I'm Phoebe. I'm Maddie. <laughs> That's Phoebe. That's oh, I was oh, we should sure do that? that. Welcome back to Classless Chaps. That's Maddie, and that's Phoebe. <laughs> <laughs> so confusing. Make sure you're watching on YouTube because we sound the exact same. <gasps> what? Okay, it's fine. I Did think you this... spill? Yeah, but I think it was earlier. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. Um, which is a really good segue into um. A great our segue into our first topic at hand that mm-hmm. we must discuss. We had a little video project. We dropped an Easter egg. <laughs> we dropped an Easter egg. Well, no, it's not an Easter egg. It's its own thing, it's but it's just thing. very hard to find. Mm-hmm. And that's what you mean by Easter egg. That's all I mean. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because I think of an Easter egg as like a little hint at something else. Oh. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. I guess I'm using it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> If we, you saw it, if you saw you know it, you were know. talking about. We have talked about our YouTube husbands mm-hmm. before, Drew Gooden and, and Danny, Danny Gonzalez, respectively. respectively. <laughs> <laughs> and if they happen to be watching this, just know we're not crazy. We're not no. creepy. We're just fans. We're just fans. Anytime we find a new YouTuber we like, we mm-hmm. say, are they a husband or not quite? Yeah. They're just like our top tier YouTubers. Yeah. So if you know them, you know their song, We Are Not not the the Same same Person. person. And I think it was like in the beginning of us doing the podcast when we were like, everyone says that we sound the same. Like in real life, everyone says that we sound the same. Yeah. We always have said, like, we've always wanted to start a podcast and we've always said we can't start a podcast because our voices are exactly the same. Exactly. And <laughs> and we say the same things in the same cadences. Uh-huh. So unfortunately, that's why it was on the back burner for a while. Mm-hmm. However, now that we're in the age of like YouTube is the yeah. main form of consuming the content. Yeah. I feel like that does play in our that, favor. That plays in our favor. And also like most of our viewers are on YouTube by a long shot. Yeah. Which is exposing ourselves. But we have very few viewers. We, yeah. Right. You guys are in on something special. Yeah. <laughs> And so we parodied their song. Mm-hmm. I don't even know why. Like, we, I think we were just, like, joking around. Well, because we always, like, we'll always just, like, um, mess around, like, switching out lyrics, like, yeah. to things that we think are funny and, like, rewriting we lyrics have been in a funny parody- way. Yeah, we've been parodying songs since we were, like, seven. Yeah, Quite exactly. literally. Quite like, literally. We have albums. We have albums. <laughs> we, have al- we have original albums. We have parody albums. Yes. Yeah. We have been through this before. So <laughs> we were doing it just as a joke, like, in the kitchen mm-hmm. one day while we were, like, cooking or something. Yeah, just, just like, like singing. singing their song, but, like, making it about us because we sound like the same person. Mm-hmm. And then we were, like, we need to write the whole song. Yeah. It literally, that, we sat down and wrote the entire song in one sitting in, yeah. like, 10 minutes, literally. Yeah. It came... And let's be honest, that's where we thrive the most, yes, is the is lyrics. the writing. But then it's like, we had to make it into something, yeah. or else it would never see the light Ex- of day. Exactly. So we were like, hmm, what we can do? What can we do? Oh, I know. <laughs> we can recreate their entire music video exactly shot for shot, down to the millisecond. Yeah. And we were able to, to move, move forward, forward with, with doing, doing that. that. <laughs> I knew you could say <laughs> and we did that what month was it that we shot that um, september okay yeah it was september in denver so wait not th- it must have been longer ago than that oh no because oh, we, we edited it, it at ago. the lake it was it like July. april it was april yeah or may yeah oh my god yeah we shot that in the entire thing in april yeah. may we edited it Edited it. <laughs> edited it. We edited it. What a fun little thing, like memory for my house, like yeah. my front yard or whatever. I know. I yes. have. I it already have nostalgia set. looking yes. at it. Yes, it was set in Maddie's yard. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so cute. You know, but and then we edited it. <laughs> that is so crazy <laughs> that that's a phrase. Edited it. Edited it in July mm-hmm. at the lake. Like ninety percent, we had yeah, it. and all we I you have to say that one more time. <laughs> and all we had to do was put in the um, subtitles. Subtitles, exactly. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And um, we sat on it for a very, very long time. Yeah, we got a little bit embarrassed. A little yes. bit. This might just be just for us feet. in the archives. This might just be one for us. Because when I tell you, we have several things in the archives yeah. like 
so many things don't see the light of day, but yeah. they're kind of like golden things that we will cherish forever. Yeah, exactly. So we thought this would just be one of those. We were like, right. even though we put so much time into it, it was so fun. It's hilarious. Like, yeah. we had so much fun. And we wanted to show it to like our family mm-hmm. because like they already know that we're yes. idiots. And so it's, like, <laughs> it's literally the grown up version of like making up a dance and performing yeah. it to your mom. Like, yeah, exactly. We do that. <laughs> we do that sometimes. <laughs> And so we literally just like, what, two nights ago, Yeah, we were at dinner and you were like, can we show mom? Because like, we didn't get around to finishing it with the subtitles. Yeah. And we were like, if we're not going to post it anyway, just like show mom what we have. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> we just need to show mom. <laughs> but also like CJ helped us with the mixing and mastering. We never showed him. The mixing and mastering. Jake was there when we were recording uh-huh. the like voices for it. Yeah. And we never showed him. Yeah. So it was just like, okay. And we hadn't seen it since July. Right. And so it did premiere at the dinner table mm-hmm. two nights ago. And as a lot of Gen Xers do. Just moms. They tend, no, dads do this too. No, no, no. I mean, I'm just saying like parents. Okay. Yeah. Parents. Like parents just have such high hopes for their kids. Parent. Well, what I was going to say is that people in that generation have like they very much underestimate what it takes to go viral yeah you show someone that age a funny video of your dog they're like yeah. that will go viral yeah that's, that's gonna, true that's gonna go viral that's true they always because say that in, in their defense <laughs> like in the vine days which was not that long ago mm-hmm. everything that stuff goes go viral, viral. Yeah, yeah totally yeah. but they just don't know how much of, like, roulette it is. Yeah. There can be a ton of funny videos that are equally funny and, like, mm-hmm. your chances of going viral are so, are so slim. Yeah. But – and then also in this day and age, if something goes viral, it goes viral for 30 seconds. Yeah. And then no, everyone forgets about it. Mm-hmm. But anyway, they in that um, mindset were mm-hmm. like, you need to post it. You <laughs> need to post it. Hyping us up. Yeah. And we were like, should we just fucking post it? Like, literally, who cares? Right. Our viewers also know that we're stupid already. Yeah. So we moved forward with posting it. We moved forward with posting it. And, oh, we, well, we also put in the subtitles. Yeah. Finished it up real nice. Mm -hmm. We posted it on YouTube two nights ago. And we, like, unchecked all of the boxes for, like, no, people are not allowed to put this in shorts. People right. are not allowed to blah, 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 which we didn't expect would happen anyway. But we were like yeah. trying to just really limit yeah. the number of people that would see this video. And if you if you don't know, like when you're posting a video, there's YouTube now has a lot of things kind of to make it like TikTok where like you can either allow or disallow people to like remix your content. Yeah. In shorts. And yeah. So that's right. Yeah. And not that we like really thought people were going to do that, but we were just no, like, no, 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 no. We and Maddie, un- she didn't know she did this, but unchecked that it would come up in people's subscription, subscription feeds. Feed. So the only way that people could find this is if it happened to come up on their recommended or they searched for it, which no one's going to search for it because no one knows it exists. Yeah. Didn't put it on our Instagram, didn't promote it anywhere. Yeah. And we were like, I mean, it's just the happy medium of we'll post it, but if no one sees it, great. That's probably a good thing. <laughs> That's probably a good thing. Let the and, universe decide. Yeah. And then, like, it wasn't really getting views, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then um, that was, like, less than 48 hours ago. Yeah. This morning, still didn't have views. And then, yeah, and then I'm driving home today, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm just having one of those, like, hangovers where I'm, like... Yes. We, oh, I the next fear morning... fear we should delete it. The next... The morning after... Because we posted it at night. Yeah. The next morning, we woke up and you were, like, <laughs> I can't stop thinking about the fact that I can't believe we posted that. And I said, yeah, it's, like, a hangover. It's, like, Sunday scaries. You're, like, yeah. what did we just do? Like, why did we do that? Yeah. But then, like, I don't know. I got over it. I was, like, whatever. Oh. Like, it doesn't... It's not that deep. But then yeah. in the car on the way home, I was, like... It's that deep. I <laughs> fear we should delete it. We should and private it. it. Yeah. And so then Maddie's like, <laughs> can I also talk about how your friends? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> also, the thing that happened is that if you listen to the last episode, we talked mm-hmm. about how we're trying to make new friends. Maddie made new friends. I poached them from her. Mm-hmm. They're going to be my friends now. Yeah. And one of said friends did happen to find the podcast. <laughs> So it beca- it became very real. I was like, we've been compromised. We have been, 
<laughs> we've been compromised. Private the video immediately. Yeah. And so then I was like, should I actually private it? And she was like, yeah, private it right now. So I go on my phone to private it. And I'm like, oh, my God, it has a thousand views, which isn't a ton. For but us, it for is. For us, it is. <laughs> on In this channel, days, it's a lot. On this channel, it's a lot. Within two days, it's a lot for our channel. And then we're scrolling through. We have so many <laughs> really kind comments yeah people think we're so funny people are eating it up <laughs> you know so, so, but, so it's if you like, come from that video yeah. because some people said that they <laughs> that they're like oh i'm gonna check out your podcast our propaganda now. worked our perfectly. propaganda worked so no, if but, you're here because of the video <laughs> thanks thanks for Please that stick around <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we're joking. We're being annoying. But, like, it was just so adorable that we were having such a hangover and, like, get this yeah. off. Like, because even whenever we decided to post it, I was like, okay, we need to be – if we're going to actually post, th post this, we need to be okay with the fact that we think it's funny mm -hmm. and we're going to get comments of people saying that it's cringe. So cringe, Because yeah. it, it, it is. is. That's literally the purpose That's of it. That's the entire reason why it's funny. It's yeah, but so some cringe. people don't understand that humor. Yes. Some people some might people, think it's just cringe. Some people don't really some understand our highbrow humor. <laughs> if you think it's cringe, you just don't get you it. don't get it. But so it was actually so cute yeah. to unexpectedly get so many really nice comments yeah. of like not even just like, oh my gosh, this is amazing or like this mm -hmm. is funny, whatever. But so many people like playing along with yeah, the joke. Exactly. And being like, wait, I like, how did you guys do that mirroring effect? Like yeah. <laughs> when it was really just us standing side by side. Pretending like, that we actually do look the same. Yeah, exactly. People pretending like they're actually confused because we're actually yeah. the same person. Right. People in on the joke. That's so true. That's just the best. I know. It's, it's so, it's literally all I've wanted from I know. this podcast <laughs> is to have like people Even play along. a small amount of people following, but who like actually are in on our humor. Exactly. So exactly. we're keeping it up. <laughs> and unfortunately, I fear that we're just all in on the Drew and Danny humor. But, but that's, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. It's just like, that's how you make friends. No, exactly. We're hitching our wagon to our husbands. Yes. And it's all good. Exactly. And if like people think that they're funny, that's yeah. why we did the fucking video. No, exactly. Because we you know, think they're funny. We think they're funny. So yeah, other people who think they're funny might be friends with us exactly yeah. so yeah that's our that's so our we're story. keeping it up so if you keeping haven't up. seen it because it didn't pop up on your subscription feed we still have that unchecked unchecked so yeah, you yeah. will have to manually search for it or just go they can see it if they go to our channel though okay yeah, yeah. okay gotcha gotcha yeah interesting mm -hmm. okay that makes sense well yeah watch it then i yeah. guess or don't or don't <laughs> But we will be keeping it up. We'll be yeah. keeping it up until things go awry. But yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways. I'm trying to think what I what else I wanted to say. I had so many things to say on this um, episode and my phone is recording us and I have okay. no notes. Well, I can say the following. Okay. Did we, we told them this is a very temporary set, right? Yeah, but let's because, tell them again. Yeah, let's tell them again <laughs> that this is an extremely temporary set. Extremely meaning... Long term for now. <laughs> It'll be this for a while. However, I just wanted to say that because I had a little bit of a hangover moment mm. where I filmed a YouTube video in here. Oh. And I was talking about like interior design on it a lot. And uh -huh. then I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. It's going to be an interior design video. They're going to click on it and they're going to see where I am. And they're going to be like, mm. what in the world does this person know about interior design? Bummer. And I feel like we talk about that a lot on our podcast yeah we do and so i just want everyone to know that this set does not necessarily reflect our artistic no vision or it doesn't beliefs. it doesn't but it's cozy yeah and i feel like also well i don't know what our set is going to be in the next chapter of life which actually brings me to one of the, the next chapter of life <laughs> yeah which is that i accidentally bought three houses no, oh kidding. yeah um, but I did want to just like update the pod on my house hunting journey mm -hmm. because it's been, um, a ride. So, but I was going to say, bringing it back around. Yeah. I'm trying to think about in my new potential house mm -hmm. where the podcast studio would be. Yeah. And I'm kind of thinking that we should convert the garage. I would 1000% support that. Yeah. The only thing is 
we might need to get some like sound proofing, like, proofing things. which I think is perfect like, for not, a garage. Not sound proofing, as in make no, no, sure no, it's no. silent, but sound um, so that it doesn't echo. Yeah, That's I forget all. what you call that, but yeah. those like cushiony things you yeah. put on the walls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that would be the best. That would way be the to best, hundred percent. Because the problem with this room is that the lighting is so hard to get right because the room is so small. So there's only so many places you can put the lights. Yeah, and like it just. I am, I am not bummed. Like this will do, mm-hmm. but then because we've been out of the game for so long, yeah. and we have like more distance from our past content. Mm-hmm. I was going and posting our most recent reel, and I went back and looked at our other reels from before, and I was like, "Oh my god, our set looks so good." Yeah, but we spent so much time on. Oh that. yeah, we spent so much time. so much time, and we'll do that again in the yeah. next place. But I'm I, so down to do that again. Yeah, but I'm just I'm not down to do it in a place that's like so so temporary. Exactly. And that oh yeah, no, no, us no. Own. Right. This is our mom's house. Yeah. So. We live with mom. Hence why we premiered the music video at dinner. Yes, to exactly. our mother with mom. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but we're yeah. in hotel mom. Exactly, hotel mama. And the, and to be clear, this room is cute. Like I wish you guys could see that side of the room because well, right now, <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, I'm really just talking about that piece of furniture. Yeah, that I'm there's a great. If, if only you guys could see the great that piece of furniture, piece of furniture <laughs> behind the camera <laughs> and that light. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. It's just we're basically in a storage room is what we're in. Yeah, I know. So. I just don't want to diss mom because oh this room God. was cute before we came in exactly. and had anything no, to ex- do with it. Exactly. <laughs> it's exactly. And the rest of the house is done oh my so God. well. Yeah. But this is where we could. This is the room we could claim as our own. Yeah, exactly. And we it could is absolutely room. trash with our storage. Yeah. Anyway, so my house saga. Um. I don't even know what is worth sharing, but I have had so much heartbreak over this oh. um, process, and it's so rough, honestly. So, okay, we thought that we had a house, um, how long ago? A month ago. Like, a month ago. We were getting so excited about this house. We found it. It was in such a good location, and it needed, like, a good amount of work but it was like so cute like had concrete floors that i was Mm -hmm. so like stain uh what do they call it stained concrete Mm -hmm. stained concrete floors i was so excited about them i wanted to like extend them into the rest of the house and redo the kitchen and like make it so cozy yeah and i mean unfortunately it just didn't work out like we had an inspection where they found foundation issues and it was just going to be like so expensive to fix and a gamble and a gamble and yeah and I basically I think Jake ended up having cold feet and being like can we please not yeah because it was just so much work and like in this upcoming phase of life we're just not really looking for like a full-on home renovation project mm-hmm. like we've already done mm-hmm. which like to me was sad because I wanted to do it yeah even though I knew we probably shouldn't take that on so that was heartbreak number one and that was called the Butter House. Pour oh, one out for the Butter House. Pour one out for the Butter House. <laughs> I can't even remember why I named it that, do you? No. Oh, because you wanted anyway. to paint it butter yellow. Oh, uh, we were going to paint it butter the, yellow. Like, and kitchen the, cabinets the kitchen was going to be butter yellow. Yeah. yeah. I had a whole Pinterest board. It was like a whole thing. Oh, okay, so then, then we found another house that had the biggest backyard so many like like a big tree like a giant tree in the backyard wait you never saw it no okay it was just so cute the kitchen was so cute and big and just the way they did this house it was like built in the 50s and the way that they've like um just like up kept it i guess and like renovated it was just very kind of true to the 50s but also made it so much more open and like mm-hmm. like i just loved the way it was done mm-hmm. and it had chickens. That was and the biggest thing. And it came with And it chickens. came with the chickens. Like, the owners were like, um, you know, we're going to rehome the chickens unless the um, buyers want them. And so we fell in love with the house. And I said, immediately, I want the chickens. And so we were, we, like, put in our offer. It was one of those moments where, like, all day we're waiting. We're like, oh, my God, are we going to get it? Like, are we going to mm-hmm. get this house? Because... There were other people at the open house and we just didn't know how much interest there was. And it was like 
you know, at the time we thought a really good location. And so we were like on the edge of our seats like all day, mm-hmm. like praying like, oh my God, are we going to get this house? And we did. And then we go for the inspection like a few days later and we had only ever been to the house on the weekend. Like first we went on Saturday and then I think the next day we went for the open house to see it again mm-hmm. and then put in our offer. And so we went in for the inspection on like a Wednesday or a Thursday. And so it was like in the middle of a business day. And I walk outside to go say hi to the chickens. And I hear like construction noise. And I'm like, oh, dang. Like is one of the houses like nearby under construction. Like that could be annoying for a while. Mm-hmm. And then I'm realizing that behind my yard, like like literally up against the yard, is this giant, what was it called? Like lumber, lumber yard. yard. Like where, like what I was hearing was like beep, 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 like a truck like picking up and dropping wood like so, mm-hmm. so loud. The beeping was so loud and I'm like standing there like, oh my God, what have we done? Uh-huh. And I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Like, I was in denial for, like, a couple hours as we're, like, walking around waiting for the inspection to be done. I'm, like, thinking to myself, maybe this is just, like, extra loud right now. Like, you know, whatever. I'm like, maybe I can get over it. Like, maybe I won't, you know, I don't know. Maybe I can just spend most of my time inside when I'm, (laughs) when it's, like, nine to five. But, like, I don't have a traditional nine to five. I love like working on on my computer outside or like in the cute sunroom. The entire point of not having a traditional nine to five. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, fuck, like if this is actually a thing, it's going to be a deal breaker. And so after the inspection, we drove around like to the other side so that we could really get a look at this thing. Giant. Really? This like industrial park, literally. Oh my God. It was huge and so loud and i'm like mother effer this is not going to work and yeah. so we were not able to move forward with yeah. purchasing that house which was an even bigger heartbreak yeah. and i'm still not over it if i'm if i'm oh. honest so that was really sad and that's what i've been going through well but then we that house was in a bit of a different area that wasn't like super ideal like we liked it but it wasn't like our number one choice I guess of like location and so that house made us think like okay let's just look in our like top choice of a location basically and so we've done that and we found another house and we put an offer on and it was accepted and the inspection is tomorrow so I don't oh, even want to like yeah. oh my god yeah so I'm like I've been burned too many times. I, like, don't even feel like it's real. Like, yeah. I don't feel like we even bought a house, but... But you did buy house number three. But we did move forward with purchasing yes. house number three, and we will see if it really... Yeah. Update really... to come next week. Yes. Updates to come. Oh, okay. We have an unintentional segment on this podcast. Oh, yeah. Wherein we discuss i'm sorry i moved on so abruptly from your house but i just you're like okay I, no i just on. feel bad. like i don't want to get into talking about what you're gonna do to it what you want yeah, 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 because yeah. we're scared yeah right we're fearing so we're gonna just leave it at that yes and Updates now we will come. move on yeah, yeah, yeah. To no 100 our other segment of the yes. podcast if you've been around for a while you know that we're big um bits bits girls mm-hmm. bits We've got a lot of bits, mainly though, just like phrases that we yeah. use constantly. We did an entire, not episode, segment, uh, segment <laughs> on so, like all the ones we used in 2024. Wasn't it like yeah, at the end of 2024 or something we, or no? I don't know. Wait, it's currently the end of 2024. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like way back at the end of 2024. Yeah, I mean, she. No, but. We have been kind of updating you. Yeah, on, so we like, have to keep you abreast of all of our all of our bits. bits and and phrases. one that is really tickling me right now is one that Maddie started doing. <laughs> <laughs> and it is an office reference. Mm-hmm. Do you want to tell them? Okay, yeah. It's basically like <laughs> explain I? explain the episode or the episode. How, where it comes from. You explain the episode. Okay. The origins <laughs> of the episode is when Michael Scott 
has to go and give presentations to each of the branches Mm -hmm. of Dunder Mifflin. Mm -hmm. And Pam goes with him. Mm -hmm. And (laughs) he goes to the branch that Holly worked at, expecting to see Holly. Holly's not there. Who is there is her new boyfriend. Forget his name. Yeah. And uh, he uh, things go awry. He kind of yells at the boyfriend Mm -hmm. during the presentation storms off everyone's feeling so incredibly awkward michael scott's basically crying and like had just left and so pam's there and she, poor pam is just really like, has to pick fuck? up the pieces she really has to pick up the pieces and so <laughs> she, after a few moments of silence she's like wow that was weird huh <laughs> it's all part of the presentation <laughs> <laughs> It's just an amazing line in general. It it's a hilarious moment. And the delivery. Like, the just delivery. how she says the presentation. It's all part of the presentation. <laughs> <laughs> When's the first time you said that recently? Oh, fuck. What were we doing? It was just like, literally, it was just like a moment where I said something like kind of weird. Yeah. And like, you just like kind of laughed, but didn't laugh as much as I thought. And so then I felt kind of awkward. And so then I go... It's all part of the presentation. <laughs> Something like, like that. that. So now it's just like an amazing thing mm-hmm. to say when you kind of mess something up and you yeah. are like jokingly trying to cover it up. Yeah. Or it's all part of the it's presentation. It's all part of the presentation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like if you're, let's say I'm making a pancake mm-hmm. and I really fuck it up and it looks like shit. Yeah. Then I'm like, it's all part, it's of, the all part of the presentation. Yeah, exactly. So if you want to start using that, yeah, that's a great one. Mm-hmm. That's a great one. That is a great one. <laughs> um, wait, I also wanted to. I feel like I'm not gonna be able to do this without my notes, but it's fine because you didn't take notes on this particular thing. Okay, I've wanted to try to rank the seasons of Love Island. Oh, okay, because we disagree with a lot of the rankings out there. Is that yeah, what you're saying? we. Well, yeah, I I agree with some and I disagree with some. Well, also, things have massively changed recently. What do you mean? In retrospect, a lot oh, of the yes. seasons were ranked kind of retrospectively. Yeah. Because season five with mm-hmm. Tommy and Molly May yeah. was like an incredible one to watch if you'd never seen it before because then you get the like, yay, they're still together. Exactly. They have a baby. They blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And Tommy they... went and ruined that. Yeah. So he re- retroactively ruined season ruined five. season five. Yeah, but literally, because if a friend asked me, like, oh, which season should I watch? Nine times, like, a hundred times out of a hundred, I would have said, you have to start with season five. Yes. And now, immediately, what are you saying on the count of three? Wait, what? wait. Um, <laughs> see, this is why I need my notes. What did we just watch? We just What did we just watch? We just watched season two. We just watched season two. Yes, and which season is the Okay, one? season three. We have season three. Season three. Chris okay, and Kim. Wait, we have to disclose that we have not seen um season seven, which we're watching right now. Yes. We have not seen We've six. We've not seen six. I we- have not seen nine, but Phoebe says it sucks. Yes, I I started nine. I got through literally 20 episodes. I gave it the biggest chance. Was that the only winter season? Um I think it was the second South Africa season they filmed. Okay. It was so boring. Mm. And I didn't finish it. And all of the rankings kind of do say that season nine yeah. is like bottom two. Yeah. Bottom of the barrel. So wait, which other one is South Africa? Um, It might be six or something. Oh, okay. I think it might be six. Because it's not seven. Yeah, it's not seven. I actually do. I do think it might be six. Okay. Which we haven't seen yet. Yeah. Um, six and seven are both ranked middle of the road by most people. So we haven't yeah. really gone around to it. Season one, we tried to start the other day. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. If you're ever trying to get into Love Island, do not, under any circumstances, yes. start with and season one. I don't one. think anyone would. No, you're right. But the funny thing is season two, I loved, loved. season two. Yeah. There were a few things that made me feel like it was 1995. Yes. Because there were a few misogynistic yeah. attitudes, characters, yeah. blah, blah, well, blah. Well, and actually, I don't even know if I want to say I loved it. No, I didn't love it, but it it did it for me. But it did it. Exactly. Yeah. It scratched yeah. the itch. It scratched the itch. The problem with it is the men. Yeah, the men. That's the problem. Season two, zero likable men. Zero. The most likable man there was Nathan. Yeah. And 
I could not have been more fuming at him in Several the times. one the one fight that they had. Yeah. The one big fight. Yeah. But without giving away too much, there are two main couples that are still together in that season. And that was so that long was ago. That was 2016. Yeah. That was eight years ago. They both and these people are married, are married. With kids. I think and they both... only one of them has kids. But yeah. No. Really? Wait. No. Yeah. Two. Okay. Two of kids. Okay. Um. Yeah. So and that's great. Yeah, that was really an incredible surprise. And I almost no wish I had known that. I almost do because I would have given them those so, boys more grace. Yes. I think. But if you're looking for a Love Island, because this is what happens to me, I look for yeah. Love Island seasons, and I'm like, I want to watch one where some of them are still together. Yeah. But I don't want to get spoiled. On yeah, who it exactly. Is. So if that's you, watch season two because yes. now you know that there are couples who stay exactly. together, and um, you don't have to know who. Exactly. But if you do want to know who to make it more fun. Mm-hmm. Because I think I knew about Molly May and Tommy when I watched their season and I really enjoyed their season oh, knowing that. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. So wait, let's go through. Okay, wait. Wait, but we have to explain why season. Oh, wait, no, we weren't done talking about season one. No. Okay. So. Wait, but we're going to say about season one. Good, good. If we thought season oh. two was misogynistic. We watched one episode of season one. Literally, like, I want you guys to just watch the first episode watch of season one. Watch the first one. episode and you'll see what we mean. You don't have to be, like, so <laughs> politically correct and feminist no. to <laughs> be fuming every second of that it show. Is horrifying. It is horrifying. I cannot believe that's... I mean, I'm telling myself they just casted guys that were like that for yeah. TV. Well, it's also, like... Not I, not judging the people, but just as characters. Yeah. Season one and two, a little more ratchet. Yeah. Like now, now Love Island is so big and so mainstream that it's just your like cliche hot people. Yeah. Instagram like, baddies. Instagram popular. Yeah. Baddies. <laughs> <laughs> season one and two were like kind of ratch. Yeah. And in season two, it was very, very fun. I like something I love so much about love island Mm -hmm. is seeing someone come on screen who looks so kind of ratchet yeah and i don't know if that's a mean word yeah no just like trashy a little bit trashy yeah and then fall falling in love with them yeah it's the best thing to me oh my god i I fall so hard so fast yeah love all the characters olivia yes could not be more obsessed could not be more obsessed season two but I don't know where I was going with that other than like that's kind of mm-hmm. the tone of season one and season two. They also um, on season one and two are allowed to smoke. Yeah. So, so many cigarettes are had, like so many conversations take place over, over a, a smoke. Hey, um, what do they say? What do they call them? Oh, a uh, word that is oh. derogatory in America. Right. Well, probably there too, but anyway. Um, yeah, we can't, <laughs> can't say that. <laughs> um, but yeah, could not get through. Yeah. Se- could no. Yeah. On the other hand. On the other hand, these steps, the massive steps they took from season one, one to, season to season two, two and then season two to season three. Phoebe. Season three, you Falapus. guys need to watch it immediately. so Even, good. It gives you everything that oh you want. Oh my God. Even before Tommy and Molly Mae broke up, mm-hmm. season three was like, it might be right up there with five. Completely agree. And it's just like more underrated. Yeah. By the public. Exactly. It's um, so underrated. But I have started seeing things on Reddit like season three is underrated, three, you guys. Yeah. It's so good. The Chris and Kem of it all. There's a there's a bromance that. There's a song which we have talked about being our next parody song. Guys. Imagine us doing a rap. <laughs> <laughs> trying to recreate that music video oh my god no we'll okay. do it in our own way um they are everything i fear they're everything yeah that's that's the first season chronologically where the men are good and but they're not even they're ki- not even like incredible no but you love them for but it but you will love them yeah see Everyone season one villa season one fancies me yeah <laughs> Season one, you hate every man with every fiber mm-hmm. of your being. Season, season two, two, you want to like them. You want to like some of up. them. You love the girls in season two. Mm-hmm. And so, but you're just like, none of, all the men are mediocre. Like, give yeah. us a good man. There's no one man that I love. No, exactly. Season three, multiple men that you love. Yes. 
It's so good. Multiple it, men. It, oh my god. And so many women we loved too. Yes. Like yes. The, I feel like the Chris and Kim was just like the cherry on top oh my god. of a gr- already great Her season. Her name was Olivia too, right? Yeah. Liv. Yes. She went that for That Liv. Liv. Season three Liv, Liv is everything to Camilla. Me. Camilla. Love Island has not seen a character like Camilla. Since. Or, before or since. No. She I am so passionate about Camilla. Brought something. <laughs> I mean. She brought something different to the, the table. Way, yes. The way she shined. Oh, my God. You guys in, love her. In, in ways that most people don't. No. Exactly. Oh, my God. She's everything. Yeah. She's incredible to watch. Yeah. And incredible to root for. Oh, my God. Every who, character. Who else? I'm like. So, there was Montana was that uh-huh. season. Yeah. Who was um Amber? Amber. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Amber was one that you. Oh, my like, God. That's the thing is. You hate to love her. You hate to love her and you love to hate her yep. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. That's the problem with, like, the season two boys. They yeah. weren't like that. They just yeah. weren't appealing. No. Season three, the people... <sighs> so you endearingly either, messy. Yes. You either are obsessed with them or you're obsessed with how messy they are. Yeah. Or you, like, hate them for a little, then you start to and love like, them, then you start to I hate them, then you start to love them. Yeah. Season three has so complex. It all <laughs> it does. All. Oh my god! Season three also had what's his face? Is his name Dom? Dom. Yeah. The Dom yeah. of it all. Oh my god. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. You guys. Oh you my guys god. need to watch. If you haven't three. watched it, and if you have watched it, please comment. Yes. Season four. Okay, give me some names. Season, without my notes, I'm lost. Yeah. Yeah. Season four. Meg and Wes. Meg and Wes. Who started out as Wes and the blonde girl. Uh-huh. I forget her name. That, oh, there's also the, the tall Jack and Danielle of it all. Yeah. Yeah. Jack and Danny. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. Who else? That season is good. That season's good. Yeah. That season is like, if you have exhausted three and five, that's a yeah. great tier two show. I would I would say so. But, I would say, but there's a season that you haven't seen that I would put before that four. season. Like, okay, my ranking so far is three. Yep, five. Five is still great to watch, even though. Yeah, but I'm gonna say eight. You're gonna say eight, which I have not seen. Which Phoebe has not seen. Uh huh. If you're familiar, but you forget, that is the um, Davide and Ekinsu season. Incredible names. Incredible names. <laughs> can you and, can you give um, me some of the lore of that without spoiling? The lore, oh my god, Ekin Sue really carries a lot of that season. Um, it's hard to say. It's hard to say lore without like spoiling because we will be watching that. Okay, but but like we've been doing, like uh-huh. what kind of good characters? Yeah, are they? It's, it's it's a good season for messiness. Okay, it's. I'm trying to remember because I remember them too, and they're very much like on again, off again, like mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah, crazy. And then there's a girl, the horse girl. If you've seen it, you know who I'm talking about. She's so cute, and I'm forgetting her name. But the horse girl is great. <laughs> um, so is it mainly like it's a great season because you love a lot of people or because it's really messy in that in that way? You yeah. You love a lot of people. Really good couples. Really. Yeah, I can't remember much. Okay. You but just remember loving it. I just remember it being a little bit of a slow burn in the beginning. And then you start to actually really like the people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then the people start to get really messy. And you're like, it, it's it's a good one. Yeah. It's a good one. Yeah. I don't. I could not wrap it up in a box. Wait, I need to clarify that we're only doing UK right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah only because UK. Because the most recent season of Love Island US is up there oh my god 1000 percent with season five and season three of uk yeah which we never thought possible with no us no so if you have not if you have not and okay <laughs> <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> okay <laughs> if you like us uh-huh. have been like biased towards uk and yeah. you didn't want to watch us which is what we were yeah 100 percent I can't imagine there's anyone out there who felt that way and then wasn't swayed to watch. I was just US gonna say, oh my god, with the amount of lore around exactly. that season, there's going so much online. lore, so much on TikTok, so much everywhere. That's a season I will rewatch in yeah. the future. Oh my god, one hundred. That will go down in history. Yeah, I and don't. They, I don't think there will be another U.S. season where 
people where that will be as popular me neither or will the people where the people will get as famous i me think neither. they hit their peak and there's nowhere they can go one hundred percent nowhere but down there's no way because like people said you uh like us was still like definitely second tier to uk yes. and it still is but now that it's gotten so like now that that season blew up yeah people are saying and i agree that everyone's gonna try to go on yeah and everyone's gonna try to be those kinds of characters yeah. casting and you just better can't. know what they're doing they better see through people's bullshit yeah because all of those characters were so themselves yep. and they cast the most beautiful beautiful cacophony <laughs> of personalities yeah they did a diverse cacophony they went <laughs> off and, and they probably just got lucky. They, they, yeah, they nailed it probably exactly by like luck and, you know. Yeah. But if anyone like goes in there trying to be a Leah, trying to be a um, Rob, freaking Rob, or even a, what is her name? Um, yeah. Cry, the crier. Oh. Caitlin. No. Caitlin. No. Um, oh. Kaylor. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Kaylor. Anyways, you mm-hmm. just can't recreate. That no. season cannot be recreated, I fear, no. for any following season of U.S. I know. So, okay, Anyways. wait. Go, going back to, we talked about <laughs> one, two, three. We talked about four. It was like, okay. We talked about five. Mm-hmm. The thing about five, though, is we also have some other heavy hitters in five. We have that incredible carried- characters. Yeah. So, like, mm- Mora. Mora could be like the face of Love Island. She basically is. She basically I, is now. Yeah. Um Curtis. And Curtis. Mora, Mora and, and Curtis. Curtis. The Curtis and Amy of it all yeah. in the beginning. I know. That's what I mean. It's still worth watching. Also, like, I came that season was the first season I ever watched, and I came in halfway through because I came home from Australia and you oh, were yeah. watching it. And I got sucked in and joined. And so I watched the second half and then I watched the first half. And what was so interesting that I had no idea it was that so much happened before Tommy and Molly May ever got together. Mm. And when Tommy and Molly May got together, everyone thought they were fake. Yeah. Everyone Which thought I, their relationship was fake. I don't really get why. Yeah, I don't really get it either. I we I don't know. People must have seen something we and didn't. Like, even though they're broken up now, obviously their relationship no, was real. They have a child. They have, yeah. They were together so long. Yeah. Yeah, so still worth watching. And so worth watching. Six. Especially because most seasons mm-hmm. don't have many couples still together no, anyway. Exactly. So it's like that was just really the cherry on top. Yeah. Because yeah. also, Molly May is so incredibly likable to this day. Yes. In fact, especially now, the way yeah. she handled everything. And so it's just great to watch her shine her. and watch her, like, origin story. 100%. It's Certainly still a great not. season to watch. So then six we haven't seen. Let yeah. us know in the comments. Yeah. How it is. Please. Seven. Seven, we're starting. We're starting. We've, we're what? Like five we're in. Like, yeah, five in. And the thing is, every single season is a slow burn in the yeah, beginning. Because you true. just don't know people yet. You have to get to but know people. But I have faith that this one's going to be good. Me too. I already like a lot of the people. Yeah. I think it could be good. Yeah. Season eight, I said I liked. Mm-hmm. Season, season nine, nine boring you hated. Season, season 10, 10 was pretty good. pretty good. Yeah. Season 10 is like right there with season four. Yeah, exactly. Pretty good. Exactly. I would agree. That was the um, other Jess. Mall- Oh, yeah. Jess. Mitch. Jess and Sam. Yeah. Mitch and Molly. Yeah. M- new Molly. Yeah. Her The little twist with her was... Yeah. And Casa was fun. Yeah. Molly and Zach. Yeah. And um, who else is in... Um, um, what's her name? Ella. Oh, yeah. Ella and Ty. Ty. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good season. Good season. Solid yeah, season. Solid. Season 11. Wait, what season? Oh. Another one where we were trudging Oh, through, my God. Trying so hard. I tried hard. twice after you left. Like, I forget when we were. I don't know why we were apart. But I tried two it, more times it to finish took it. Us, it took us months and months and months to get through half of it and then give up. Yeah. Awful. Also, it was airing, like, it overlapped in airing with 
the most amazing season With of Love Island US, US you've ever seen. Yeah. And we that did and, not help. But we were like, is it just so bad in comparison to Love Island US? No, it's and bad. And then we went back to it when we needed we needed to like it. Yeah. And it's so bad. Also it's talk bad. about unlikable men. Oh my god. Wait, yeah. The only kind of likable one was Kieran, and it was yeah. only because he was so neutral and boring. Exactly. He was very boring. Ronnie. Cannot stand the man. Three of the girls look the exact same. Yep. Frickin' Joey Essex. I hate him. Hate him. I hate him. To no end. Like, I can't even have a soft spot for no, him. No, I can't have a soft spot I for him I don't like either. him. That's embarrassing. Like him. That's so, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> that was the only great part about that is Samantha's accent. Oh, so good. I'm oh. so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, yeah so. i forgot i literally forgot about that season i'm like and we're waiting it for sucks. season 11 oh no. god it sucks so bad yeah that might be one of the worst okay season one's the worst yes. that might be right there with it completely agree so, so that's our there ranking. you go <laughs> yeah the only seasons of us i've seen are one season mm-hmm. one with alex elizabeth zach yeah um I don't remember any. I only remember Her, Elizabeth. Wh- what's the girl's name? Not Caro. 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 Yeah. I forgot about Caro. She's a character. Yeah. Season one was like, okay. Pretty good. It was pretty good. Yeah. However. Oh, and also Kira. Cashel. Cashel. Pour one out for Cashel. Yeah. <laughs> Season one was pretty good. Yeah. But also like. I hadn't even seen UK when I watched that. Right. So I enjoyed it. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if it's no i don't know how worth it it is no wait um was harry jowsey on one harry jowsey was too hot to handle, too hot to handle. <laughs> okay i didn't watch his or wait i, I, I watched, watched some it. of it yeah he was on the first season of too hot to handle okay i watched with, some of it um francesca uh-huh etc yeah okay okay that was good i get that mixed up that uh, and actually that was a good show okay um I started season two where I watched season two or something. Not as good. It's yeah. It's just like they just had hard hitting icons yeah. the first season. Yeah. So did Harry Jowsey come from that show? Like he yes. was nobody before that. Yes. Wow. And That's he insane. rose to fame. That's insane. So fast. Was that Netflix? Yeah. Okay. Like I think Netflix original. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. He That's sucks. a That's a great season though. He does suck he sucks yeah unfortunately yeah um but like it's a bummer because on the show you didn't know him yet so you uh-huh. hated him but you also kind of had some soft spots here and there as he yeah. tried yeah and then now you just hate him no he he's sucks. just the worst he's like really toxic and manipulative yeah he's the worst yeah anyways ew yeah i yeah i could i could talk so much if we were allowed spoilers i know maybe we should um I want to like. How can watch- we make Love Island part of this podcast? I know. Well, I was just gonna say to our friends, mm-hmm. like we've been really wanting to watch a reality show and like really talk mm-hmm. about it on mm-hmm. the podcast. Like well, every single week, dedicate like a long time to it. Yes, but we're struggling to find to like figure out what to, to watch. Find a good one. Here's the thing. I'm done with the Bachelor franchise. Yeah, unfortunately, I am as well. I was gonna watch paradise there's not been a paradise in so long yeah in so long i don't know if they're like giving that up or what that would be so dumb so insane so dumb i'm so done with that franchise me too i was done with it a while ago and then joey his season slapped yeah but then i won't even say the season slapped i just love him yeah like and most of the time like they cast the most vanilla person yeah. ever. And but the contestants carry the story. Exactly. With this one, it was just gold because the contestants were great and he was and great. He's so likable. He's so likable. And but they just constantly miss the mark on yeah. who. And I don't know if it's a case of I think a, a bunch of people said no. I know mm. Daisy said no. And I know Maria said no. On Paradise. No, no, no. To being the Bachelorette. Oh, Daisy and Maria were like the two. I thought Maria would have absolutely devoured. 100%. Who, by the way, Maria, Leah Leah from Love Island and Alex Alex Cooper. Alex Cooper. 
friends. Uh, that to me makes me so happy. Yeah. And it makes so way too much sense. Yeah. What it's a trio. So good. What a trio. It's so good. No one I'm no one could ever touch them. No. Oh my god. So I don't know where I was going. Oh, with that. but yeah, we it's just, just didn't know what to watch. It's just a shitty yeah, it's a shitty franchise now. It's so boring. Yeah, okay, okay. But even that aside, like we've we really obviously love Love Island. But I was gonna say the prob Bachelor we can't do because yeah. it sucks. Love Island we can't do because it airs every fucking day. And it airs two weeks later in America yeah. than it does in the UK. So it's just so hard with the timing. I know. However, like we could maybe we do could. like a whole week one. Exactly. We, we watch That's all what of week I'm thinking. We drop. That's kind of what out. I'm thinking we should do. And we just like, do we just do it for our American US. friends? Yeah. I think we must. Instead of getting a VPN and then like spoiling yeah. our American friends. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, so there's that. The other thing I was going to say is if you have been listening from the very, very beginning, from before we even had video. Yeah. Our first season zero, as we like to call it. Uh Uh-huh. We recapped the ultimatum. Yeah. The queer season. Uh Uh-huh. Of all women. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I think all women maybe a they, them in there somewhere. Yeah. I don't know if that's appropriate to say a they, them. I'm just saying a non-binary person. But I think it was marketed as all women. Yeah. But, um... It was just not a great show. No. I, I just, I can't with the ultimatum. No. It gives me weird vibes. It Same. Wasn't, it wasn't good. It just wasn't good, and it's just very negative. It's really hard to watch. Yeah. And, um... I feel the same exact way about Love is Blind as mm. much as people love it. Yeah. It's just, it gives me bad vibes. It gives like, me bad vibes it too, sucks but I you have in. to watch it. I know. It sucks you in because you had an episode on the other day mm-hmm. and I watched the entire thing. I felt like shit afterwards <laughs> and during. Like, it's just, I can't. With yeah, love, I get it. There's nothing like Love Island. I know. Because people, contestants come out of these shows, The Bachelor, Love is Blind, The Ultimatum, Too Hot to Handle, all of them. And they need therapy and they say yeah. my life is ruined. They try to sue the show. Yeah. People come out of Love Island saying that's the best summer of my life and yeah. I've met my family. Exactly. Like, there's nothing quite like I know. the feeling of watching and Love Island. And it translates Island. to the audience. Exactly. The friendships mm-hmm. are ha- like more than half of it. Yeah. So, that's why you need to watch it even if none of the couples yeah, are together. Yeah, exactly. It it's almost just incredible. Matter. It's like being at summer camp yeah, exactly. with a bunch of hot people that like have, have the cutest bonds and yeah. make you fall in love with all of them. Yeah. I know. So we were I was telling Phoebe that I'm pretty sure there is another Love Island All-Star season coming okay. out. Like that's what's next. Is that the same as Love Island Games? No. Okay. Oh, okay. I think they're different. Okay. There was only one other season of All Stars, and I was trying to get the tea on Reddit of, like, if people liked it or not. Mm-hmm. And people had mixed reviews. Well, explain what All Stars is. Okay, I think that All Stars is just some of, like, the really popular people from past seasons coming back. Yeah, who are and, single or whatever. And I'm pretty sure that it's from all countries. Okay. Yeah, from, so. From U.S., from Australia. From- exactly. Like the first, I watched the first few episodes of the first season, maybe even just the first episode mm-hmm. of the first season of All Stars. And it was um, Curtis, who else? Oh, some girl from Meg- Australia. Megan. I didn't even see Megan. Like she might come in later. Oh, okay. I don't know. Like it was a bunch of different people, most of which I didn't know. Okay. And I didn't really get into it. And I think the reason why people say they don't get into it very easily is because these people are already famous. Yeah. They already know each other. All right. And so you're kind of, you're not like seeing these people interact for the first time. And they're not as vulnerable. They're not as vulnerable. Yeah. They just, they know too much. Because if you're a normal pe- person walking onto like that giant production for the first yeah. time, you're like, what the fuck? Exactly. But if you're already super comfortable, you know everyone. You've you're got famous. a guard up. You're famous. You're rich, probably. Like exactly. You've got a guard up, and it's just like, oh, what can I get from this? Yeah. Like, this time or whatever. Not yeah. in a negative way, but just like it's so different. Yeah. It's so different. So I wasn't like really feeling it. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if we'll like cover that, mm-hmm. but let us know if you. Yeah. want to see that but yeah. or if you're gonna watch it mm-hmm. but i fear we just need to wait for the next love island season yeah either us or uk or both yeah true i would do either of them yeah 
We also haven't tried Australia, but like mm-hmm. the thing is, there, there's not as much like lore I know. because I want to be like in on it with a bunch of people who are watching. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like not enough people watch Australia. Yeah, wait, do your Australia friends watch which ones? They don't watch any of them. Okay. My Bummer. Australian friends. Okay. Although I do, you. I know you force them to watch some, but they don't watch Australia. Mm-mm. Okay. Bummer. No. Well, yeah, we'll have to figure out what we want to do. Let's let's Google. Yeah, I we also, I just like that's the franchise for me. 100%. So if we have to do games or if we have to do Love Island games or All Stars, so be it. Okay, but I think that's our franchise yeah. because that's the only one that I'm going to be watching, no matter if we're talking about it or not. Totally. With the ultimatum, I was like watching three hours at a time of a show that I was hating, taking notes on it the whole time. With Love Island, I mean, look at me right now. I have no notes. I could talk for hours upon hours upon hours upon hours. No, literally. And they give you so much material. Exactly. Especially after a whole week. Yeah. We'll be able to like, instead of going like, okay, and then this happened. Yeah. No, I know. But it's just so nice to not be able to not have to like tell you everything that happened yeah but to be like guys that's yeah that's the thing and that's the thing i didn't love about recapping one episode at a time exactly is we were just like going through it basically scene Scene by by scene scene. and we we knew not to summarize because everyone supposedly would have watched it already yeah but it was just a way to carry through like okay and then this happened this and and then oh this let's talk about this and then you know you have that scene with blah 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 and blah blah blah. like yeah i don't want to do that yeah. I just want it to be like, we've all watched it. Now we're yeah. coming to talk about it. The craziest and we're just, parts. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. We're just the other thing that I definitely will be watching and will at least be talking about a little bit is Mormon Wives. I don't know when oh, it's coming back. Oh, yeah. But we know it's coming oh, back. Oh, yeah. Well, we should do a whole episode like yeah, watching, you know, half a season and then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, whatever. Exactly. Like however they drop. Because yeah. don't they drop like one through four, four through or five through eight, and then yeah, nine maybe. and ten or like something like that? Maybe. So we could do it. Yeah. yeah. Mormon Wives. I Mormon actually wives. did love. So good. And episode one and two, I thought it was just going to be kind of trash. Yeah. I'm glad we stuck with I'm it. I'm glad we stuck with it. I'm glad. If you gave up after a couple episodes, yeah. stick with it. Yeah. It gets good. Mm-hmm. It gets good. Oh, I, wow. I feel like... I kind of am anticipating that coming back sooner than later just because it really blew up on TikTok and well, it started on TikTok, but then it also, I don't know. It just seems like the type of show that they'd be like, oh shit, we need to capitalize on the fact that people care about this. Yeah. Because it's like influencers and if time goes by and you're (laughs) not. (laughs) Influencers. Whatever. If they like lose relevance, then yeah. it, the whole show is. I know. Ruined. I don't even follow any of them. So I'm just like, I don't know. Where's the new season? I don't I even know TikTok. exactly what's going on in their lives if I just followed them. I, yeah, I don't even have TikTok. But that's yeah. the thing is, I don't want to be spoiled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that is the problem with that show. I know. They left you on a cliffhanger of like, our blah and blah moving to New York. Yeah. And then the show ends. It's been six months right. since then already. You look on TikTok, they're in New York. They're in New York. So it's like, <laughs> All right. And they're still together. Or are they, are they yeah, still together? Yeah, exactly. That's what I want to know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Anyways. Anyways. Should sheesh. we wrap? Yeah. That oh. segment took a lot longer than I yeah. thought, but I had <laughs> I an amazing We time. have a lot to say. Yeah. About Love Island. Yeah. Well, have an Incredigirl week. Yeah. Incredigirls. And... Yeah. <laughs> oh, my oh God. Yeah, there are Incredigirls. Yeah. Yay. Wait, no. But what I was oh, my Godding about is that <laughs> we were looking on our, like, YouTube analytics to try to figure something out. <gasps> Yeah. And we saw that 100.0% of you are women, which I know is not true. <laughs> but considering we get comments about our feet, yeah, from men. Mhm. But other than that, no, we just love to see it. Yeah, no, we do. You guys and really are the incredible girls. Yeah. So, thanks for that. <laughs> thanks for being Thanks for girlies. being girls. <laughs> thanks for being the girls in the gays. Follow mm. us on Instagram. To see clips of things you've already watched us say. <laughs> I was just gonna say. <laughs> we don't post anything. And to see one photo mm-hmm. every yeah. six months. Mm-hmm. Classestraps.podcast. Yep. Watch us on YouTube if you don't already. Um, if you want to rate us, that would be yeah. also incredible girl of you. <laughs> yeah, it would. Um, I don't know what else to say. Like That's... and comment on the... Yeah. But actually, though, if you made it this far, comment what shows you think that we should talk about. Yeah. 
What yes. shows do you watch? If you want to rank Love Island <gasps> in the comments. We want to know your rankings. We would love nothing more than to yeah. know your Love Island rankings. Yes. If you have an extra second to type out your reasoning. Uh-huh. Support your reasoning. Yes. State your I'd reasoning. I'd be so curious. Explain your answer. Yeah. And if you think we should watch season six, let us know. Or if yeah. you think it's a skip. If you got through season one, let us know. Oh, my God. Let us know everything you have to say about the yeah. show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.